to send an email from the Gmail service at Blake School, you're going to go ahead and log into your Gmail account and select the Compose icon located at the top left of your screen. Once you do so, you're going to enter in your recipient's email address. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and send an email to Dan Trockman. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the subject line as I typically would. And finally, enter the body of the message. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and press the Send button. You'll see up here uh, at the top, you'll get a little yellow message that the message has been sent. And I can go ahead now and send another message or reply to a message that I've received earlier today. So to reply to a message, um, I'm going to go ahead and select one of the messages in my account. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a message um, from Wendy. You can see that uh, I will be taken to the last part of my conversation and at the bottom of that conversation I'll have the ability to click here to reply to Wendy Erickson. Hi Wendy. I'd love to join you for lunch. And just like before, once I've gone ahead and typed in my message, I can click send. When I want to return back to um, the beginning of my uh, inbox, I'm going to go ahead and select the back button. And I'm going to go ahead and decide to reply to a message where there are multiple participants. So if I scroll down here in my inbox, I can see that there's a conversation happening between me, Sally, and Cynthia. If I select that email message, I can go ahead and choose to reply like I've done before, just to reply to Cynthia or I can go ahead and select to reply to all. When I reply to all, Cynthia's name will be populated in the to field and Sally's name will be populated in the CC field. And once again, I can go ahead and uh, send them a message. And just like before, I can go ahead and click send. Now both Cynthia and Sally have received um, my email messages. So that's how we can go ahead and send and receive email. That's how we can go ahead to reply to all or reply to just the sender. And in the next conversation, we're going to uh, take a look at deleting and archiving mails.